welcome to Nick Grit. My name is Cody and in today's video we're going to go over how to make this really cute sunny side egg hat for your Among Us characters. This is actually attached using some Sewology just felt pieces. It's attached like so. You can put one right on top of your head. I just hot glued mine. You can sew them on if you want. But I just used some Velcro to attach it like so. I love this yarn. It is called I Love This Cotton. It is with a basic just worsted weight size for yarn. For today's tutorial, you're going to want to be comfortable with doing some single crochets as well as increasing. You're also going to want to be comfortable with doing just single crochets generally, half double crochets, and double crochets as well as again increasing doing all of those stitches. I'm going to be using worsted weight yarn for both the yolk and for the egg white. The yolk and the egg white are done in two separate pieces and as you can tell from the underside they are sewn and attached. I then take my felt and put it right in the center so that's super duper easy but basically this is a really easy in the round work the big thing that i'm going to be showing in this tutorial is not how i do my increasing and how i get this but how i a assemble it and b how i make this very uneven edging here i also am pretty excited because i've been working i kind of wanted to give a little sneak preview of what i'm working on next if you're into among us stuff i'm working on a little oh my gosh that's so scary looking when i just pull it onto the screen i've been just staring at it for hours so i kind of forget how it looks but this cute well i don't know if i call it cute monster imposter i really liked the idea of one of them having their mouths open because i like how that one looks the most it's a bit more memorable and I made it and I just haven't put all the faces together but this is going to be a future video I believe I'm going to do the egg hat obviously next and then the leaf hat is going to be after that but then I think I'm going to do how to make the little body all of this is based off of the first oh no everything's falling off the first among us uh, little crewmate video this is also based off of that I just show you how I'd make the open mouth portion of it and how I use felt to make the little face. So again, stay tuned for the next couple videos. This will be a tutorial that'll be popping up. So for this, you're going to want some yellow and some white yarn, obviously. I'm using worsted weight yarn. You're also going to want a darning needle. And I am always using my trusty Furls crochet hook. I'm using a size D3 or 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. I am an affiliate with Furls Crochet. Links, as always, are down below if you want to get an amazing deal on this absolutely stunning crochet hook. I have been a fan of Furls long before I became an affiliate, which is why I became an affiliate. I don't typically become affiliates with programs that and things that I just don't believe in. I use this all the time, so I absolutely love it. Links all down below. Self-promotion over now. So you're going to want to be comfortable with working in the round. I made the base already. This is super duper easy. If you've made the Among Us character that you're putting this hat on, then you will know what I'm doing here. I make a ring. I place six single crochet on the inside of that. I then expand from six to 12 and from 12 to 18, from 18 to 24 and from 24 to 30. Usually I go to 36, but I'm making the hat slightly smaller. The big thing with this pattern is that we are not ending with our row five here. We are going to go a sixth round and I'm going to show you how to do that round. I'm also going to show you how I make the quick little yolk and that is done with again size four yarn. I have increased all the way up to 30. I'm going to show you how I do round six. I, again, I'm also going to be popping up a little pattern up on the screen and there will be a printable PDF down below. All right, so we're now currently at 30 stitches around. I didn't want to make this video absolutely horrendously long because if you already made the Among Us creature, then you already generally know what my increasing looks like and how I stagger it. I also have a staggering versus stacked stitches video down on my Crochet 101 playlist. The big challenging part of this pattern is to create that uneven waviness that eggs have because they're not perfect circles. The yolk can be a perfect circle. However, the rest of the edging kind of just splays out how it splays out. So I kind of tried to replicate that with my edging. So this is going to kind of just be crazy and I'm going to list a nice big box of it. I'm not going to pop it on like the underside where I usually have a little title card. 
um, well, like a little pop-up graphic, I'm going to just put it as a title card, essentially. So it'll be on here and you'll probably already seen it and I'm just over explaining. All right. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to be going from 30 stitches up to 35 with how many increases that are going to be inside the stitch. In the next two stitches, we're going to just place some single crochets. So I wrap, you'll notice that I wrap from left to right instead of right to left. Either way will work and you are fine to do it however you would like. So these next two stitches, I'm going to single crochet one, go into the next one and do another single crochet. Next, we're going to do a half double crochet. And a half double crochet is when you wrap your work, go inside your next stitch, wrap again, pull through, you now have, instead of your normal two with a single crochet, you have three little loops on your hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn and I'm going to pull through all three of those loops. That is a half double crochet. The next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to wrap, go inside, wrap, pull up. We have three loops again, but this time we're going to wrap and go through the first two and then wrap and go through the last two. Those are the steps for a single, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. So next up, we're going to want to do an increase because about every, we're gonna do it in a little bit of an increase every once in a while in this. So what I do next is we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're going to double crochet, two double crochets inside that same stitch. So we're gonna go in once, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through, go back inside that same exact stitch right there where you just went in, and we're going to double crochet again. These double crochets are adding different heights to our stitches, which adds a waviness to our layers. Our next stitch is just a simple double crochet. And you'll notice that there are usually half double crochets between our single crochets because it helps add a nice bumpiness without it being too all of a sudden the height is too high. A half double crochet is a, still a little bit taller than a single crochet but not quite as tall as a double crochet if that makes sense. So the next stitch is going to be a half double crochet. So we're going to go in and then go through all three of those stitches. We're going to single crochet into the next two stitches one two and then we're going to do a single crochet increase so we're going to go inside this one stitch once go back inside that same stitch and go again both single crochets we're then going to single crochet into the next one two three stitches one two three and then we're going to do another half double crochet we're going to go back up and do a half double crochet going through all three of those loops we have another double crochet increase so we're going to wrap go in wrap go drop our yarn and pick it back up again there we go and then back inside that same stitch and create another one inside the same stitch we're about halfway through our work and we're going to now double crochet into the next two stitches. One, not dropping our yarn. There we go. And two, we're going to do another half double crochet because we're kind of rebounding down. I split my yarn, so let's fix that real quick. There we go. Next stitch is half double crochet. There we go. And now we're going to do a single crochet one do a single crochet increase right here one back inside the same stitch two and now we're going to half double crochet into the next three stitches so one half double crochet two half double crochet three half double crochet All that. We're going to single crochet one. Do a single crochet increase. So go inside that once and then go back inside and single crochet again, making a little increase right there. We're tailing the end of it here where we're going to half double crochet, double crochet into the next three stitches. One. 
double crochet two, double crochet three, three, there we go. And our last stitch is a half double crochet, like so. Trying not to pull our yarn. All right. So we created all this uneven texture. It's wonky. It's weird. If you want to change around some of these stitches, you are absolutely free to. I just find that that made the lumps and the bumps and everything look how I wanted it to for an egg. And I have like a piece of tiny fluff right there stuck, which is why I keep plucking at it. All right, let's take our unicorn scissors and clang all over the place and create a nice little tail there. Pull that through. And now we're gonna take our tail out over here. I actually worked my tail in on the first couple of stitches here, so I can actually just cut that. It's nice and easy, but otherwise you'll just wanna work it through the backs of your loops there. Makes it super simple. And now I'm going to do something called a seamless fasten off. And the way that I do this is it's essentially going to create a stitch along your brim. I have a full blown tutorial on how to do this again on my crochet 101 playlist. I'm going to show how I do it here real quick though, but if you need me to go slower, it will be over in the crochet 101 playlist. What we're going to do is we're going to put our work onto our uh, active yarn. So the one that we just pulled off after our half double crochet, we are going to skip the first stitch of what would be the first stitch of the next round. And we're gonna go into the second stitch of what would be our next round. We're gonna go in from the top of our work through the back and pull that through. We essentially created the front loop of our stitch doing that. We're gonna pull that a little bit more and we're gonna take our loop and go through the center of our half double crochet. And I kind of try to work it through the back of it a little bit more so that I can work it through the backs of my stitches like so and that way it looks nice I'm gonna pull that all the way through only as tight as I want my stitch to look so as you can see as I pull it that stitch looks tighter or not it gives it a smaller appearance so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my yarn put it back on my darning needle and I'm gonna work this up through the back so the stitch is going the other way and that will keep it hidden. It went that way and now I'm going the opposite way. That way it won't come undone. If you wanna go through again, sometimes I'll go through a third side. It all depends on how I feel. And right now I'm feeling that that is done. All right, so that's gonna go there. And now we're gonna work on our little egg yolk. So for the egg yolk, you're going to do your ring, place six single crochet on the inside, and then increase every single one of those stitches to 12. So we're going from six to 12, and now we're just going to go around all 12 of these stitches for the third round. Row one was the ring with the six in it, two increasing to 12, and now we're just going to get all of these stitches to get a little bit more of a height on the yolk. If you want a flatter yolk, you are free to not do the extra third round. If you want more of a yolk, do round three and four where you just single crochet around. It's all based on how you want it to look. So I put my tail here just to keep track. Also your work may try to flip out on itself. I always try to just flip it right way, that way. And we're almost there. It's super quick, this yolk. And I'm gonna show you how I sew it on. I'm probably not going to show the velcro part. We just finished our last stitch, so I'm going to slip stitch into that and create a decently like 12 inch long tail where I can use that for sewing. You can add a little bit of stuffing if you want, but I find that I don't really need to. I kind of like the, the non puffy appearance of this yolk. I am, however, going to take my tail and pull that outward. And I'm gonna kind of roll that up and keep it on the inside. So that kind of acts as stuffing and a little bit to give it a bit more of a firmness to it. However, I am going to take this and I'm going to see if I have any stitch markers. 
I have no stitch markers. Let me find them. Oh, there's one. I'm not dumb. There you go. I have these cute little stitch markers that I use to stab through my work. Yeah, it's a little bit in the way on this side, but it keeps it so that it's centered, and I like that. You don't have to put your yolk centered. In fact, most of the time, I just kind of sew it on without, kind of with a little bit of reckless abandon, just in the sense that, like, I just add it on. Uh, a lot of yolks aren't centered, so there's no real point in trying to make it perfect. I'm going to take my yarn and go through from the side of my work and pull that through. And then I'm going to go up from the top of the stitch down and pull that through. I'm going to do that the entire way around. While I describe, basically, I take my felt pieces here and I take one. I, if I know that I'm making a bunch of these, you would want to make sure that your ends, basically, there's a fuzzy side and there's a grippy side. I would put the grippy side on the Among Us and then put the fuzzy side on any hats that you're making, basically. That's what I'm getting at. So I hot glued mine on. There's not really much to, to write home about that. I'm not gonna show a big like thing where I'm just doing that. I'm gonna tug this a little bit so that it actually is a bit more taut looking though. You need to be careful with cotton though because it will, I've pulled just that hard on it and it snapped before and I've just been very upset about it. I'll spend time on something and it just goes to snap. Oh, it's very upsetting when that happens. But basically that's all there is to this little egg. I loved how these turned out. I've been doing a ton of Among Us creatures. I actually, I'm gonna post a picture up here. I've been working on little mini crewmates because I have, ha I've, I've received so many comments and so many requests asking for the mini crewmates, for specific hats. I'm debating doing the Jason one that they have. It's super cute. And I don't know, I'm just looking at other hats that I could be doing. I'm definitely doing the leaf one. I have that one done. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna be doing the attaching process and whether or not I wanna make that something that I can Velcro on. I haven't fully decided yet. And I'm obviously very, very excited about the imposter. I kept on working on it and working on it and it was not turning out how I wanted it to. So that one turned out how I wanted it to. And I'm gonna be making a red one uh, on my channel, hopefully later on this week. I'm hopefully gonna be filming tonight. It's Halloween right now. And it depends on how noisy my neighborhood is about how much I can actually get done. But that's been done. I'm gonna sew it all together and then I'm gonna work on my imposter for the video. I'm pretty excited. Also, there is a tutorial for how to make this cute little brain slug dude. I'm very chatty. I am caffeinated and this is just what's happening right now. I'm going with it. Um, there's also an extra large version of him. That's the brain slug from Futurama. All right, so we're gonna go through this last piece here. This is our last, oh, biscuits don't get stuck now. There we go. We're gonna go through our last stitch here. There we are. Just going around, picking up, picking up, picking up. And I'm gonna take my tail, I'm gonna feed it through the center, through the side as far away as I can get it from there. And I always like to go in back from where I was and go in a different angle. And I find that that makes it so that it doesn't come out as often. So that is our egg. He is awesome. I'm very happy with how he turned out. I actually just got a big order for Among Us creatures, which is why I've been working on a lot more hats and a lot more things because I just, did a big giant order of like six of these and a bunch of them were dead. So I'm really excited about that. That's pretty much all there is to this little hat. I just wanted to show the general pattern, how you can make it. It's wicked quick. It's so fast and it you can add it right onto any of your creatures if you want to make it so that it's removable. Again, use the Velcro. I also have snaps, but I don't know where those went. You could sew on snaps. I'm just not patient for that at all. And I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I whipped these out because I find that these are a bit more friendly. I might also end up adding some of these receiving ends to my little brain slug. That way he can be added to 
the same spot if he wants to be like that. I think I am going to do that before the next video, just so that we can have things go off and on. And if you want to make things removable, especially if you're going to be giving these to kiddos. So that's pretty much all there is to this video. Stay tuned for future Among Us tutorials. Give us some feedbacks down in the comments. My comments keep getting shut off and I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason and it's very frustrating. So let me know in other videos if you think that this one's videos, if you can see that the comments have been disabled because I don't disable the comments on any of my videos on purpose. I like it when people can give me feedback when they ask me questions i do try to help them we have a discord down below i have email i have all of the links if you have any questions and you would like to ask anything really you can go ahead and go down below tons of stuff down there if you need help i have a patreon i have paypal links i have want to say thank you to all my patrons i'm going to do a pop-up here of them they are lovely people and if you would like to become one of them and have a little shout out for yourself in one of my videos you can go ahead and go down below and check out our patreon down below and that's pretty much all there is to it. Subscribe, hit the little bell before you leave if you want to see more videos like this because it does not get put out to everybody all the time. And until next time, everyone, bye!